just gonna hop on hi it's Lori and then I'm gonna hop on quickly and do a new red bread wow bread recipe um, that I'm going to try today um, and I thought I'd come on and show you what I'm doing so if you're joining me say hi I'm going to give it a few minutes for some people to hop on. I'm going to have a sip of my very hot coffee that I just made. Hey, Claudia, how are you? So, yeah, I'm, I'm trying a new recipe today. Thanks for the hearts. Hey, Patrice, how are you? Um, I am trying a no-need French bread baguettes today um, because tonight we're going to do some grilled shrimp um, on a Caesar salad that I make. And so I thought I would make some nice crunch, crunchy homemade French bread to go with it. First time I've ever made this recipe and it's a no need recipe. Um, so handy spatula is all you need in a big, big bowl because it's a big recipe. Um, I think it makes like seven or eight baguettes or, or rolls or whatever you want to make with it. And it's four, physically four ingredients, which is awesome. Um, so obviously I have um, my, my, my large bucket <laughs> of, um, AP flour that I use. And, um, this recipe, you do have to measure, you have to be exact with your measurements. So, you know, for me, not measuring is a problem <laughs> or measuring is a problem rather. Um, but I'm going to measure. So it's eight and a third cups of flour. That's why I said it's a big recipe. You've never made no need bread. I've, you know, I've not, not bread that has to rise, Claudia. I've made, you know, other breads, quick breads and stuff, but I've never made a no need. So I'm going to try it. The only thing I'm doing is you're doing this by hand. So that's one cup, two cups. I have to, I have to talk and count at the same time because this is a lot of flour. Three cups and I hope my biggest bowl in my house holds this. Four cups. Hold on. Halfway there. Five cups, and yes, I'm gonna freeze some of this one. There's no way we're gonna eat all this bread by the time it um by the time it um starts to go six, six cups. I almost lost count. Seven, one more. I'm so not used to measuring. <laughs> eight, so it's eight and a third. So I'm gonna have to try to be as exact as I can because I don't feel like finding my one third cup. So eight and a third cups of flour. That's a lot of flour. And so, yeah, a lot of flour. I should be able to handle it in this bowl, I guess. And then it's a tablespoon. I mean, and this sounds like a lot of salt, but it's not for this recipe. So a tablespoon, and yes, I'm measuring, a tablespoon plus a half a teaspoon of salt. So that's about that. And then, hey, Ileana, how are you? Hi, Peggy, how are you? Hold on, I gotta have coffee. So if you're just joining, I'm making no need French baguettes today. And then this also, um, and this is my first time making this recipe, so bear with me. And this, then it's one and a quarter teaspoons instant yeast. So um, this is a tablespoon holder, so that's about one and a quarter instant yeast. I'm very lucky I was able to find instant yeast. You just saw my quick flash. I have a lot of it, which means I can make a lot of bread. And then three cups and three tablespoons of lukewarm water. So that's what I've poured in here in my, my handy dandy Chinese food container, which cracks me up. So you just pour all that in. And like I said, it's four ingredients. And then, so the flour ratio, liquid ratio is really important in this one. So you have to measure carefully. Um, and then they only want you to, you're only supposed to combine all this stuff and then you're mixing it with a bowl scraper or spatula and you're spinning your bowl at the same time. This is the no kneading. And uh, pulling the dough up from the bottom as you're spinning. So you're mixing it. And you're doing this about maybe, I don't know, 18 or 20 to 30 times. It's not going to be completely mixed and then you cover this and you let it set you let it rise for three hours and uh, 
then you do this all over again. So we'll see, this is pretty breaking apart, kind of like, you know, it's looking kind of funky weird. It's like a, the dough is really flat, obviously, because you're only hand mixing. So you don't want it to, um, I'm going to give it a couple more. I mean, really, this is like super simple. We're going to see how this comes out. So I am going to have to wait three hours. So I am going to let this, because it's cooler out this morning, I am going to turn my oven light on and um, put this bowl wrapped with um, oiled, you know, oiled plastic wrap over the top of it and let it go for three whole hours. So what, it's about 9.45 almost. So, I mean, this is pretty non-sticky dough. It's just like little flakes. I'll show you what it looks like in a second. So, this is my dough. It's very flaky. And I'm going to leave it right here. I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to put an oiled um, piece of plastic over the top and uh, see how it does in three hours. And then in three hours, you have to repeat this folding process again. And then you let it rise. Um, let it rise. Let me see here. What's it telling me? Let it rise again. Oh, and then you make your loaves. So you can make up to eight different loaves. You can make, can, can you use your, yeah, yeah. I use my oven light to help it rise. Um, not your oven on, just the light. That It's that much warmth in your oven. I rise my bread in there all the time, um, especially if it's a big batch like this. I, and that, you know, it's a metal, it's a stainless steel bowl, so in it goes. Um, just make sure you remember your bread in the oven. <laughs> Um, I've accidentally forgotten that I've had dough rising in my oven and turned my oven on to preheat for something else. Yeah, killed the bread, killed it. So, um, yeah, you can do that, Claudia. Um, anyway, super simple, especially if you don't have a warm kitchen. And it is chilly out this morning, so because this has got such a long rise time, I figured, you know, it's definitely going to take three hours and it needs to be in a very very warm spot so the oven will probably with your light on it'll probably make it about oh 75 80 degrees which is a good temp hey tam how are you and um my next question this morning is who's made an avatar <laughs> i made my facebook avatar i think this morning um i started messing around with it yesterday and for some reason it kept on telling me i was a guy <laughs> i didn't figure that out right away it took me a while but I figured it out, so I made my avatar, and um, what are you going to do? My hair is getting long, Tammy. I need a haircut, <laughs> and I need it badly. Did you? I know Tammy made hers. I saw hers. Hers was really cool. Claudia, I didn't see yours yet, so I'll have to go look for yours. I haven't seen it. Um, and just something cool to do. I've never been into the avatar thing, so I was surprised I even made it. But, you know, hey, I went from a guy to a girl. <laughs> We'll see. Don't like the clothing choices they give you, though. The clothing choices are awful. I need, like, you know, not that I'm a, a, you know, a diva with my clothing, but, you know, something, something better than what they offer. Anyway, I've got my grateful mug on. I've got so much to do today. I'm hoping it's going to warm up like yesterday. Hi, hey, Nat. How are you? Thanks for hopping on. Um, yesterday, we started power washing our house. Got our deck set up, um, sat outside last night and enjoyed that. So I hope you all um, have a fantastic Sunday. Um, let's all hope that it gets warm here. And I would love a duplicate of yesterday for the weather. Um, yeah, and getting my deck set up so we can have, you know, friends over, social distancing, and still have, like, a life and enjoy people and that whole thing. So anyway, cheers. I'll let you know. I'll post pictures as uh, this comes out. Um, and uh, maybe I'll come live afterwards and uh, finish up this whole thing, depending upon how the day goes. But take care. Love you all. Bye.